So if you're doing higher maths using this book, the Heinemann book, second edition, I think the exercise is the same as the first one, then I'm going to go through the mixed equations at the end of each of the chapters. So at the end of the straight line, you've got exercise 1O. It looks like 10, but it's actually 1O. And I'll just go through these various questions. However, I'm not going to put up the questions. You'd be using your own book for this. So, question 1 then. Two sides of a rectangle have got these equations here. Find algebraically the coordinates of the vertex of the rectangle formed by those sides. Well, oh, that means you want the point of intersection. I'll give them names. 1 and 2. It says find algebraically. Now, there's no harm in any of the questions and drawing a little quick sketch if it helps, especially when there's more lines involved and more points involved. But what you can't do, of course, is use your diagram accurately to try and get points of intersection and so on. But what would that look like? You should be able to visualise lines as with other graphs. So what would that look like approximately? You've got the line y equals 2x. That means it goes to the origin with gradient 2. And gradient 2 means if it goes along 1, it goes up 2. So it climbs 2 for every step along. So that approximately would be y equals 2x. 2y plus x equals 5. Rearrange that. 2y would be negative x plus 5. So y would be negative a half x plus 2.5. That line would start at 2.5 and, and drop down a half. A gradient of negative a half means it drops down a half for every one along. Or the way it says here, it drops down one for every two along. The same thing. So we'd start at two and a half, and one step along we drop down a half. Well actually that must make it level with two, which is one along two, for this line here. So I can see straight away, that point of intersection is going to be one, two. Anyway, this line goes down like this. So the point of intersection should be there, ish. 2y plus x equals 5. If you're drawing that kind of diagram for other questions, it's handy because it tells you whether that point's going to be in the first quadrant or the second quadrant, and approximately which of the two coordinates should be bigger. Would it be the x or would it be the y? You can check your answers against it. That's just a visualisation. It's a handy thing to do, but you're doing it algebraically. Now, algebraically, you've got two ways. You can use elimination if you've got lines. You can't use elimination with other forms like lines with circles, lines with parabola, or you've got substitution which is the more general one. But this is perfect for substitution because it reads y equals. So I can substitute for y. And that's fact what you would write down. So substitute 1 in 2. 1 in 2 meaning 2 is the basic equation, the more complicated one. And 1 is going to form the substitution. And if you substitute 1 in 2, that simply means write out equation 2. Well, as soon as you come across that substitution, Carry it out. So instead of that y, write what y is going to be replaced by 2x. And then finish off equation 2. And then it's just tidy that up quickly. 4x plus x equals 5. You can see the answer already. 5x equals 5. You don't need to spell out every step at the higher. I don't need to write x equals 5 out of 5. I can go straight down to x equals 1. Once you know what one of them is, then you can find the other one. Substitute x equals 1 into whichever one is more convenient, obviously this one because it gives you y directly, so substitute that in 1, give the explanations, which means that reading equation 1 with this substitution inside it, it would be y equals 2 times 1. It's always handy to use brackets as holders for substitutions and expressions and formulae, which means y equals 2. So if the question said, Find the point of intersection of the two lines, or the vertex. In this case, I can write down the vertex is going to be the point 1, 2. And that's the answer. So I'll underline that. That's question 